Hello and welcome to Little Antique Me. Today I am starting a series called Recreating the Icons and by that I mean I will take a 1940s movie star, maybe even into the 50s, and recreating their look for you, including hair and makeup. Today's icon is Hedy Lamarr. She was born in Vienna, Austria in 1914 and passed away in 2000. She was most well known for her roles in Commander X, take the, I Take This Woman, Come Live With Me, and Samson and Delilah. Uh, the thing I found most fascinating as I read about Hedy Lamarr was that she was well known for her middle part, her style, her grace, and she was also an inventor, which I find super fascinating. She and a composer friend of hers worked on an invention to help with radio technology and torpedoes. Uh, a lot of that technology, or some of that technology, is still used today in Bluetooth technology. That was a lot of technology in one sentence. Uh, there are websites that you can look her up on. I will leave the one that I read down below in case you want to learn more about her. We're going to go ahead and get started on hair and makeup for Hedy Lamar. Okay, let's start with foundation. I am using Maybelline's Fit Me foundation and I'm going to apply that thoroughly all over my face. Next, we're gonna move on to those rounded brows. So I'm using my brow brush to create that shape and then I'm gonna go in with my eyebrow pencil and fill it in. Hedy Lamar's were very rounded and I'm going to try to achieve the same look with my eyebrows. And same on the other side. I tried to keep them dark too because her, dark, her eyebrows are pretty dark. There we go. Next, I am doing my liquid eyeliner. This is a new one I found. Um, it has a flat side and a pointy side on the brush. It's kind of neat so I can get that point on the end and keep it nice and fine in the middle. So I'm gonna make these quite winged because in the picture, it looked quite dramatic. All right, we're gonna move on to mascara. I'm using my False Lashes by Essence. should always make funny faces. It helps with application. <laughs> I apply to my upper and lower lashes for this look. And again on the other eye. And then I'm going to apply my eyelash, or my fake lashes. Um, I actually buy these and then cut them in half and only use, like, a, use it as a corner lash. So I applied the glue and then let it set. And then I applied the other one. Now we're gonna move on to blush. Um, I'm actually not using that one. I'm going to use the darker pink in my Catherine Cosmetics uh, palette and give my cheeks a nice rouged color. <laughs> and I used a little bit of the highlighter to just define my cheekbones and uh, cheeks. And then going in with a setting powder from the same palette to just set everything and keep it nice. I'm going to use my Ellipsense Fly Girl for my red lips for this picture, or for this look. I'm going to apply three coats of this and then the gloss. Um, I'm constantly referring back to our inspiration picture because I wanted to make sure that the bow was about the same. After applying that, we have our gloss and we're good to go. Now onto the hair. So for this, I set it with rollers taking big sections and I parted it right down the middle to get that middle part. Obviously. <laughs> so I'm gonna remove all of them and then we're just going to brush right through it. I will have to say after filming this, I realized how easy this set is and it still looks gorgeous. I'm gonna probably do this again. I'm gonna use my Denim brush to brush it out. Starting in the back, I am going to work my way up working those curls out, breaking them up a little bit. And 
and then onto the front section breaking them up as well kind of starting to form that front away from my face and onto the other side I'm actually going to use my Denman brush to backcomb the underside to kind of form those curls together and to give that fluffy fullness as seen in the picture. Hers almost has a flyaway look to it, so we're going to work with that. I also decided to backcomb the front to give more lift and volume, also using a fine tooth comb. And this was a lot of molding, a lot of moving, a lot of playing with the curls, see where they wanted to go and how I could get that a look from my face. Decided to add a little bit of hairspray to give it just a little firmness. Again, shaping and moving as you go. Now onto the other side. Take a little section, back comb it. And I only back comb the front because that's where the volume was. And again, just kind of shaping and moving, using hairspray if needed to give that front look right where it needs to be. This side gave me a little bit of trouble because it's my less voluminous side. But we worked it out. We figured it out. Straighten up that middle part make sure it looks all nice and neat. And there you go, here's our finished look.